This is Ernst and Grammar School for Boys. This film tells the story of a day taken from the first weeks of a new school year. The new boys are easy to identify, bunching together for security, neat in their new uniforms, a little self-conscious of their tidiness. This will last a week or so until they find their feet and then the ties loosen, the socks slip down, pockets fill up and a normal boy appears. Boys will be boys, at least until they are caught, when they turn into angels of innocence. Every day begins with an assembly, which gives an opportunity to gather all the school together and unconsciously gives a feeling of unity and belonging. The religious service is strictly non-denominational. The singing is either lusty or indifferent, depending on how far a boy feels he can trust his breaking voice.
For the new boy, the staff are all eight feet tall, but at least this part of the proceedings is familiar, and they all sing cheerfully. Professional latecomers don't run. They are confident in the excuse which they have prepared. Lessons begin. A full range of sciences is taught, and they are popular with boys, particularly as this is an industrial area. Languages nowadays are not restricted to French and Latin. There are Italian, German and Russian too. Methods of teaching have also changed. Buongiorno, signori, come sta? Bonjour, monsieur, comment allez-vous? Dobre utro, tavarish, kakvi posivaretia. Guten Morgen, mein Herr, wie geht es Ihnen? Buongiorno, signori. Bonjour, monsieur. Good morning, my hair. Music is not simply a pastime here. It is a subject in its own right and is taken by some boys to an advanced stage. All boys now coming into the school are taught to play the recorder, a simple, cheap, yet remarkably versatile instrument. PT, or drill, has changed its name to physical education. No more running on the spot, begin. The emphasis is now on exercise by using skills.
Biology, for so long the girl's science, is becoming more important for boys. The research into agricultural efficiency has made this subject much more sophisticated. unfortunately still finds himself required for dissection. I wonder what's the school dinner? Many changes brought about by the educational revolution, one of the greatest has been in the school dinner. So often years ago, just something to fill an aching void, great efforts have been made to make food attractive and varied. We even have a choice of menu now, and it isn't take it or leave it. The library is very popular. We are still suffering from being a new school, as we have had to start from scratch here, and the yearly allowance for books does not go far with present day prices. Give a boy a break from lessons, a playground, and a tennis ball, and he becomes Stanley Matthews. Give him a bare wall, and a piece of chalk and the temptation to get into print is often too great. Retribution is near. Ask not for whom the bell rings, laddie, it tolls for thee.
afternoon school begins. Physics these days seems to be a must. We try here in the first two years to let the boys do as much practical work as possible. Even the simplest experiment is absorbing if it is do-it-yourself. of activities in art grows every year. This is not free expression but guiding a boy's natural creativeness. Some of the work turned out by the boys of all ages is fascinating and astonishing to those brought up in the age of painting patterns or a flower each week. technical department takes in metalwork and woodwork but has added engineering and engineering drawing. These are growing in importance in this technological age. We even have a motor car which has been stripped and is being rebuilt by the boys. homework is over for the day, but activity continues.
boy has an ability in any sport, then we try to bring it out. For those who prefer the unusual, there is shinty or golf. Every year there is a school play. Only a few can appear on the stage, but for the technically minded there are jobs to do behind the scenes. There are plays too throughout the year, produced during the normal course of English lessons. You send me to God. You're very sure of that, Sir Thomas. He will not refuse one who is so blessed to go to him. proud of our brass band which puts on the occasional public performance. energetic activities, there are societies, the Stamp Club, Transport Development Society, Rambling Club, and The day is ended. The boys go home to their homework. Perhaps it is history. This now includes economics, or geography, with geology for the older boys. It becomes more difficult every year for parents to keep up but you can always help your boy with his mathematics or can you <laughs> 